Good day everyone! This is Rita Diagram and Kate David as your host today. Since I was a child, I really love to share my thoughts on social media instead of playing with other kids because I find it kind of boring. I'd rather take photos of mine to send it to my mother abroad. In short, social media has become a big part of my life. Post online. In our generation, many people tend to share and post their experiences and feelings in social media. Eliana, an employee, was believed to be tricked by a ghost. Wait lang, nag-print siya. Oh my gosh, wow. Hala, nakakatawot naman to. Wait lang, ano yun? Hala, may picture. Hala, hala sila yan. Anong mangyayari? Aliana's photo goes viral because of the horror posted behind it. Many netizens commented and reacted to the post. In fact, it has already reached 540,000 likes, 1 million comments, and 200,000 shares already. Now she's right here in front of us. Please welcome Aliana Capiroso. Can you please tell us the story about the photo you posted? Oh, okay, sure. Well, it's raining that night, so I decided to go back to my office and get my umbrella. And I suspected only the guards were left there. So I went upstairs and entered my office. Mm, my table is located near the Xerox machine. And then I just noticed that it was left working because of its light. I suddenly got nervous that time, but still, my curiosity led me to step a little bit closer to that machine. I immediately reached for my umbrella. I was so shocked when I saw the continuous release of the papers with a picture. But then, I decided to take a picture of it first so that I can post it on Facebook. And because of this viral photo, I heard that no one dared to apply to your company upon seeing it and the rumors about ghosts inside your office has scattered already. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, of course. I was there when it happened, and no one could enter except me or our company's janitors. We've heard about Aliana's story. Now, let's hear the janitor's side. Dear viewers, I introduce you, Mang Ralph. So, Mang Ralph, you started mapping around 10 p.m., didn't you? What exactly happened? Ah, uh, eh, ha. You know, I'm quite old and my memory is not that sharp anymore. But if you'll ask me, as far as I remember, my head was stuck inside a big gray mouth and there's a green light emitted. Gosh, it's so hot, then unintentionally, I pressed the green button. I don't know what to do this time. So, Iha, you must ask me now so that I can continue my answer. Oh, sorry. Did you really accidentally place your head inside the Xerox machine? What is that? Is it the thing with the big mouth which produces something that exactly looks like me? Yes, that's it. Can you please tell us what happened before your head got stuck inside? What? Iha, I cannot tell you. Can I just show it instead? Sure, but we don't have Xerox machine here. You may demonstrate it using this machine. I am holding a mop. I just mopped and mopped. When I suddenly slipped and fell at the... the... Xerox machine. Yeah, this thing. My head was stopped. I forced to escape, but it was just so heavy. I even pressed so many buttons until I noticed the continuous release of papers with my face on it. Due to fear, I rushed out of the area holding this mop and I don't even know how I escaped from that mop. So Aliana, do you still believe that ghosts did that after you heard Mang Ralph's story? Um, a little bit. I really wonder how this thing happened. I mean, how was the image formed? So let me introduce to you our great expert on serography. Miss Grisa, please join us. 
As you all know, a photocopier or a copier or a copy machine is a machine that makes paper copies of documents or other visual images quickly and cheaply. The technology used in photocopier is called serography. So here is how photocopier works. So this is how a photocopy machine works. First, here are the main components, the halogen lamp, the photosensitive drum, the toner, and the conveyor belt. Now, when you want to scan a document or photocopy it, you want to place it upside down and then press start. It will then be scanned by intense beam of light from the halogen lamp reflected by a convex lens to the photosensitive drum. And this is where the magic happens. The photosensitive drum is a metal roller that is electrostatically charged by a high voltage wire called corona wire. This uh, photoconductive drum is made of selenium which is a semiconductor, meaning it is an insulator in dark areas and a conductor when light rays hit it. And this is what happens with your scanned document. When it was scanned by intense beam of light, the white area reflects the light rays while the black part or the dark parts absorb it. The areas of the surface of the photosensitive drum that will be hit by the reflected light rays will be discharged, leaving the area that was not hit by the light rays negatively or still electrically charged. This area is called electrical shadow. Now, as the metal roller of the photosensitive drum rotates, it will be brought to the toner which will release positively charged particles. It will then be attracted to the electrical shadow. Next, a blank sheet of paper will then be placed on the conveyor belt, electrically charged. It will then be brought along near the toner particles. The positively charged particles will then be attracted to the surface of the paper, fused by the hot roller on the paper surface. And then, we have our final copy. Now that, folks, is how a photocopier machine Image formed by convex lens. To find the position of image, draw three rays starting from object. Draw an incident ray parallel to optical axis. After refraction, it passes through second principal focus X2 of a convex lens. Draw an incident ray passing through optical center O. After refraction, it emerges without any deviation. Draw an incident ray passing through the first principal focus F1. After refraction, it is refracted in a direction parallel to optical axis. Image is formed at a point where these three rays intersect. I would like to thank you, Aliana and Mang Ralph. Thank you for sharing this so-called mystery. There's no such thing as coincidence. There is always an answer for everything.